Today we're going to be looking at the, the 2020 December silver question, Countagon. So in this question, what happens is we have a bunch of farms that are connected to each other by roads. So in every farm, we have a bunch of cows, and a cow in farm 1 just tested positive for COVID-19. So in every day, we're going to have time moving on, we're going to have a super spreader event, which is basically going to cause the number of cows with COVID-19 to double. So if we have two cows with COVID-19, we're going to have four. If we have four, then we're going to have eight and so on. Or what's going to happen is a cow with COVID-19 is going to move to an adjacent farm and going to give another cow there COVID-19. So in every day, one of these events could happen. And what's going to happen is we are going to determine the minimum possible number of days before every farm has at least one cow with COVID-19. So let's move on to the algorithm. So the first thing you should notice about this question is that since the farms are connected by adjacent paths, it's probably a graph question. So there are only a couple of graph algorithms, but the main and easiest one we're going to use for this question is going to be a DFS. So this is actually a pretty simple algorithm. What we're gonna do is we're going to assume that farm one is the root. So we're just going to build this tree. And then what we're gonna do is we know that there's one cow here and we're just going to count the number of children. So there are only two events that happen. The first one is going to increase the number of cows. The second one is basically going to a different farm or traversing against an edge. So all we need to do is if we start at this farm, we need to find the number of cows we need in order to have at least one cow to go to each child. So what this means is if I'm at this root here and I have two children, that means I'm going to need to have at least three cows because I need to have one cow here, one cow here, and one cow here. So what we're going to do is we are going to say, okay, well, since it doubles, we're going to need one day for it to turn to two, and then two isn't enough, so we're going to need another day to turn to four. And by the time we have four, we can have one go down here and one go down here. So then we're going to spend another day traversing to each of these. And then we're going to say, okay, well, this one has no children, so it's done. And then we're going to look at this one. And since only one cow traversed down here, we're going to say, okay, well, I need three children. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double again. I'm going to go to two and then I'm going to go to four. And then we're going to traverse down each of these. So it's a pretty simple algorithm. We're just going to see the number of days we need and then we're gonna return it upwards. So by the time I reach here, there's a certain amount of days I need and I'm just going to traverse back up and return this answer. So I'm gonna show you this in the code. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start with our data structures and the main data structure we're gonna use for this question is going to be an adjacency list. So the way an adjacency list works is we are going to have a list of all of our nodes, so our farms, and it's going to be size n. And then what we're going to do is if two nodes are connected, if two farms are connected, we are going to add that to the list. So if 3 and 5 are connected, then adj3 is going to contain the value 5. So we're going to move on to reading in the input. So I'm going to resize it n plus 1 because we're going to be making it 1 based. And then I'm going to loop through and I'm going to read in each of the edges. I'm going to read them in and then I'm going to call this function called add edge. And add edge is pretty simple. I'm just going to add B to A's list and then add A to B's list. So the next thing I'm going to do is we are going to write our DFS. So this is the main part of the code. So I'm going to write it recursively. You could do it not, but this is just faster if you're doing it in contest. So the way our DFS is going to work is we are going to have a node and a parent. And since what we're doing is we're working with a tree, we're not going to need a visited list. So for every adjacency list, we are going to have a bunch of values. So for example, ADJ3 would have the values, say, 2, 1, 4. And then let's say 1 is the parent of 3. What's going to happen is we're going to loop over this and we're just going to say if you are not the parent then we are going to dfs down so we're going to say okay two is not the parent which means two is a child of the node three okay one is the parent we're going to store this parent value so we're not going to dfs down four is not the parent so we're going to dfs down so what this is going to do is it's basically going to let us get away with not having a visited list so we're going to have cows, and cow the value of cows is basically going to be the number of children I have. 
So this is going to be the number of cows I need to get sick. So again, if I have two children, I'm going to need three cows because I'm going to need one for each child and then one for myself. And then if we are the root node or if our parent is negative one, we are going to add an extra value. So what we're going to do is we are going to do the part where we're just going to literally loop through and we're going to find how many cows we can make. So this is the part where we're going to double the number of cows that are currently on our farm until we get enough cows. So K is going to be the number of cows. Cows is the number of cows we need. K is the number we currently have. So we're going to start with one cow. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to do a very simple loop where we're just going to say while the value of K is less than the number of cows that we need, I'm just going to add one to the value of days and I'm going to multiply by two. So this is just going to keep doubling it. This is going to be the event that we were talking about. We're going to keep doubling it until this is either equal to or greater than the number of cows we need. And then we're just going to add the number of days it took to double to our answer. The next step is we are just going to loop through our neighbors or our children. And then when we do this, it's going to go to all of the adjacency farms. And then as long as the value is not parent, we can assume that it's the child. We're just going to add this value because we're just going to assume we need one extra value to travel down. At the end, we are just going to return our answer. So this is a pretty simple DFS and that's the main part of our program. At the end, we are just going to output our DFS with our node value and our parent. Uh, the parent is going to be negative one because we are going to set this here. And that's the end of our program.